Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Diamond Kings Baseball. 12 box, pick your team number six. Second half of that master case that we popped open a little bit earlier. There it is right there. And a big thank you to all these lovely people right here for getting into it. Rory with that last spot mojo, looking for that Dodger Joe mojo. Or maybe it's reverse psychology. The Dodgers are playing the, the Brewers tonight. Interesting. He's chasing that break credit too. Okay. So now Brian O has been has been helping us out with some funny, uh, some not funny but fun trivia bits for us. We uh, before while we were filling up this break, we were we were uh, trying to guess without the Google machine, guessing uh, the top twenty all time home run all time list. Now he's got. We got a couple different trivia questions. Which one do you want to do first, Brian? The 50 home run in a season one or the six perfect games since 2004? All right, so there's all 12 boxes right here. All right, good luck, everybody. Okay, so perfect game first. There have been, this is from Brian O. There have been six perfect games since 2004. Can we name them? Six perfect games. Rory says Dallas Keiko. Did Dallas Keiko really have a perfect game? Kershaw almost had a perfect game if it wasn't for uh, an error by Hanley Ramirez in like the eighth or ninth inning. I had a chance to go to that game, and I turned it down. <laughs> it was in like the middle of the week. I had something else going on. Oh, Dallas Braden. Andy, Andy's got one. Halliday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. T. Dudley and Grego also saying Dallas Braden. Ryan O saying wrong Dallas. Dallas Braden. The perfect game. Scherzer has to have had a perfect game in there, right? Oh, Tyler R is all over this. Are you, you're not using the Google machine, Tyler, are you? He's saying Halliday, Kane, Matt Kane? I don't know who Humber is. Dallas Braden, Felix Hernandez had a perfect game. Nice, Tyler. That's strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyler's saying, I'm not using the Google machine, Joe. How dare you? Phil, why, why, why am I not... Why am I, do, do I not remember Phil Hume? Oh. Yeah, go for it. Only one left. Oh, that's, a, that's not a good start. And it's, wow, Fernando Tatis Jr., 42 out of 49. It's a great one for the San Diego Padres. Jacob Lewis. There's Kyle Wright to 99.
That's for the Bravos. Drew Kerr with the Brave. I think Kyle Wright had a start today. All right, who am I? The last perfect game hurler since 2012 or something like that. From St. Charles, Missouri and played for three teams. Randy Johnson? Didn't Randy Johnson play for like four teams? Expos, Mariners, Diamondbacks, Yankees? Or did he not pitch for the Yankees? I pitched my no hitter with the Blue Jays. Burley, really? Mark Burley? Now, there's some there there's some randos who have pitched a perfect game. That's the beauty of baseball, folks. Someone could just be on and then just, and just turn it on. What's that? There, I, I don't know the answer to this, but there's the classic trivia question of who threw two no-hitters in consecutive starts. You guys, remember, you guys know who that is off the top of your head? You can Google machine that one. But someone has, some like old school guy has thrown two hitter, two no hitters in consecutive starts. Or something like that, something close to that. They mention it every time someone throws, oh, Johnny Vandermeer says, I think that's right, that rings a bell. That rings a, in my head. There's Diamond Deco, Juan Soto. Juan Escabapena with that one. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Johnny Vanderby. They always they always bring that up every time someone makes a start after a no hitter, and be like, no one since Johnny Vandermeer is, uh <laughs> has thrown two consecutive no hitters. There's Jeff McNeil for the Mets. John Booth with the Mets. Bud, what's going on? Remember the remember who got pulled from a no hitter in his first ever career start in the MLB? Yes, 
Ross Stripling. Rory wants to know who is the Detroit pitcher that got robbed by the ump. Can't remember. What what was the situation of the robbing? Brian remembers the ump, Jim Joyce, but the pitcher can't remember the pitcher. Bud's asking, what's a buyback in Panini Honors? A buyback is l literally what it sounds like. Um, they, they literally buy back the card. So let's say they do Honors 2022, right? Let's say this was a football player. They do Honors Football 2022. So this card, this Jeff McNeil card I pulled from 2019 Diamond Kings, they literally buy this card from someone and re-put it back into a set. So that's a buyback. So if this check from... Actually, well, let's just use Diamond Kings as an example. Let's say in 2022 Diamond Kings, right? Let's say Jeff McNeil turns out to be a stud. 2022, they'll buy this 29th, this actual card, and they'll put it back into the set. That's what the buyback is in honors. So those honor stickers that say originals on it, that's what that's about. Um, the ones that aren't that, I'm pretty sure are are replacement cards. Yeah, Brian, oh yeah, Ross Stripling, I remember that. And everyone, everyone like crushed Dave Roberts for it the next day. Was it Armando Galarraga, I think? Missed the call at first on the 27th out, wow. Blake Margot saying, last Philly starting pitcher to throw a combined no-hitter. Andy Garner also had something. Who am I? I have a fan-made baseball card with my real name, Randy Pofo. I was a wrestler. Who am I? That's a, good, that's a tricky one. No, you don't have to contact Panini. You no, know, they already bought it. They already bought the card and put it into the set. So they're live. Sometimes you'll see tops do that too. You'll see tops like in like heritage or like archives or something like that. They'll be like, here's a 1972 buyback card. And it's literally a card they buy back and then they stamp it to let you know, hey, we bought this back. And now it's in a new set. It's not a mistake, you know? We got Justice Sheffield, big prospect for the Yankees, got traded to the Mariners in that, uh, I'm watching the Mariners right now, down by three, to the Mariners in the uh, Paxton deal. That goes to uh, Patrick Kay was the Mariners. Wow, and then Armando gave the lineup card to Joyce the next day because he was behind the dish. And Joyce apologized. I was crying. I mean, he could have reversed the call, right? He's like, yeah. And that slid towards the back. That's not good. I gotta even that out. Still got a lot of break to go. And there's why isn't this man signed? Where's Craig Kimbrell gonna go? I feel like we're gonna see Craig Kimbrell signed way before Dallas Keuchel, right? Dallas Keuchel might have might have effed himself. Is it Randy Savage? Wow, Randy Savage has a baseball card. It's game used material. That's still Red Sox edition of Kimbrel. That goes to Ted Howard. Reese Hoskins.
These artist proofs will ship out too. It's an insert, so it'll 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 ship anyway. There's Mo Mariano Rivera. Jesus Aguilar. Oh, the Justice Sheffield. I was like, where's the autograph? Justice Sheffield was the auto. Two two hits in each box. All right. That was the first stack of three. Got a few more to go. Good luck, everyone. Brian O had a had an other other trivia question if we want to tackle that. Players that have hit more than fifty home runs in a season. How many how many are there, Brian? Do you do you recall? Over fifty in a season. That's kind of a lot if you think about it, even this day day and age. I feel like there can't be more than like 15 or 20 players who have done that. Well, here's the good news, Rory. I don't think we've seen too many Dodgers pop out of this Diamond Kings. We're already on break six. So they're probably due. They are due. Let's hope they pop out here. We have not seen a cut auto for anybody in this set, I think. I don't remember seeing a cut auto for anyone, for any team. And there's Ryan Baruki for the Blue Jays. 18 out of 25. That'll be four for Jared, Nictor, and the Toronto Blue Jays. We've got Robinson Cano, still Mariners edition. And that'll go to Patrick K. Ump got hit in the Mariners game. It was a strike, a swinging strike three. The ball gets past the catcher, hits the umpire. The ball's in play. Ump's doubled over in pain. D. Gordon, who had walked, scores from first. Or no, from second. He stole a base. Scores from second. Ooh, it, it caught the ump right at the top of the shoulder. That looked like that hurt. And the umpire realizing the the play still in, he he pops back up to try to make the call. He D Gordon safe. Ooh, that's got a sting.
All right, Andy's got one for us, trivia. Who am I? I had a brother in baseball, and I have a notorious 89 Fleer card. That's Billy Ripken, right? Was it what? what? Ooh, that looks like that hurt. This classic. Um, I don't. I forget what was on the on the bat barrel. Was it uh or the bat knob? Was it F off or was it? I mean, they they spell it's a family show. We're not gonna say that word. Is it F off or was it F U? I forget what it was. <laughs> Oh, F face. Right. Good times. Doesn't happen anymore. You just Photoshop that stuff out now. Can't ruin shots anymore. You just Photoshop things out. All right. Ready? We got Jake Cave. Dual relic and autograph for the Twinkies. Who's got the twins? Sanford, card blasters with the Twin Cities on the board. This is a Mariners home game. Why are we getting the Astros broadcast? Nobody wants the Astros broadcast. It sounds like the Astros broadcast. King D's here. I don't want to hear these guys. Oh, that's not good. That's not good, folks. I got to balance that out on the next one. That was a bad throw. Jersey King, Glaber Torres. You got a bit of the pinstripe on the right side there, Yankees. Joseph Elrand with that one. I don't really care what I mean if it, if it's if it, if this was in Houston I would want to hear the Houston broadcast but this game's in Seattle I feel like that's just East Coast bias the big wig network guys in in New York are just like yeah we'll just give them the the, the Astros broadcast oh let's hear the home team broadcast Top 10 saves in MLB history, all time. I got it, Brian. You don't, you don't even need to ask everybody else. Mariano Rivera, Hoffman, Lee Smith, Burt Blylevin. Yeah, K-Rod. No, I don't, I actually don't know after that. I think Burr Blyleven was a starter, right? John Franco. I don't think he was a closer. Jeff Shaw. He was a closer. Lee Smith is up there for sure. That I know. Yeah, Eckersley has got to be up there. I don't know if Smoltz did it long enough, Jared.
I only hesitate on smolts because of because of longevity. All right, Rivera won with 652 saves. Hoffman, 601. Oh, we haven't gotten third yet. K Rod's at fourth with 437. X at seven with 390. Where's Lee Smith? Lee Smith is in there. He's he's top ten for sure. All right, next box. Is Troy Percival up there? That's a, that's not that's not a bad guess. I can see Troy Percival sneaking into the top ten. That's tricky. That's a tr that's a tricky filler filler stack right there, folks. So Smith is third with four seventy eight. Oh, that's a mess. That's definitely gonna Django over. Purcell is eleventh. Raleigh Fingers? I did say John Franco, right? He's at fifth. It's another bad throw. And we've got Dave Concepcion. Wow, look at that. 20 out of 25. Two color, dual relic, huge cardstock, nice autograph, nice one for the Reds. Who's got Cincinnati? We're on Cincinnati. Thomas Dudley. T. Dud. There you go. Nice. That that pile right here, not so nice. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the end of the break. So we need sixth overall saves all time. Eight, nine, and ten. So we, we, we mostly know the top guys. Joe Nathan, twins, that's not a bad one. I could see him being up there. There's Diamond Deco, Willie McCovey. We're talking about all-time or top 20 home run guys. He's up there, Willie McCovey. That goes to Patrick Kay and the Giants. Nice Diamond Deco quad relic. Oh, nice, Jarrett. Joe Nathan, eighth, 377. Right, and, and for the exactly, and for the spirit of the game, no Googling, folks. Fingers is 13. Um, what about John Wetland? How about that? John Wetland. Got it. That's one. Jeff Reardon's at 10. No, he King D. Brian said Raleigh Fingers is at thirteen, number thirteen. Uh, John, no, sir. Okay, so Wetland is not in there. Yeah, Eric Gagne. Eric Gagne could be up there. I know he had a pretty incredible consecutive save streak. Ooh, that's a good one, Tyler. Billy Wagner, old Astros closer. I feel like Jeff Shaw racked up a lot of saves, too. Oh, Gagne only had 187. I don't think Kimbrell has been around long enough to rack up a lot of saves. 
a two-run home run, and now two base slam. And Jake has two hits tonight. Double and a single, he had a string of five. Ooh, Papelbon? Yeah, that's good. A AOB saying Papelbon. There's Ichiro, Jersey Kings. Three out of 15. Nice. Seattle edition going to Patrick K. Goose Gossage is a good one, too. There you go. Billy Wagner at six with 422 saves. Can't believe we didn't think of that one earlier. It's a good save. There you go. And Papelbon's correct, too, AOB. Ninth, 368 saves. There's Kyle Tucker, two color dual relic and autograph. Jonathan Best with the Astros. Is Tucker playing tonight? Who else do we need? Jeremy S. saying Rob Nen. That's a good one. Oh, we got them all? Where's Kimbrell going to go? Why isn't Craig Kimbrell signed? I, I can understand why maybe maybe you're reluctant to sign a starter like Dallas Keuchel. He's got to go through a spring training. He's got to go through, you know, get stretched out, blah, 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 blah. I feel like closer, you know, you can get ready a little bit earlier than a starter. Someone's got to want a, want a closer. I mean, is, is Craig Kimbrell really going to sit out the season just because he's not getting, like, 10 years, $100 million, which I don't think anyone's going to pay him? Brian O says we got time for one more, so stay tuned. One more little trivia thing. Tuve hit a grand slam today. It's a goner. Yeah. And he got another hit too. Guy's on fire right now. There's Corbin Burns. Dual relic to 99 for the Brew Crew. He was starting today and he's still pitching. Right? No, he's not still pitching. This is... Let me refresh here. 
He went four and a third innings. Five earned runs, two walks, three strikeouts, nine hits. Dodgers down one. So here's an Heirs to the Throne that has two different teams right here. So we'll do front-back randomizers on that. Oh, come on, Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly's killing me here. I got shook. I was shook by that by Joe Kelly. Got in my head. Nice Eloy Jimenez. 13 out of 25. You got a little bit of a laundry tag in there too. Nice. That goes to the White Sox. Barry Swisher with the White Sox. Alright, next box. We got four boxes to go. Oh, you know what I was looking up? I was looking up. <laughs> Bold indicates active player. Okay. So on baseballreference.com. Where the hell is oh? On baseballreference.com, I'm looking at the save. We were just talking about saves, that saves list right there. Active players who could get into the top ten. Fernando Rodney is has the most saves of any active player right now. Isn't that crazy? Kimbrell technically not active. Kimbrell has 331 saves. 10th place is 367 saves. Kimbrell can get 30 more saves in his career, right? For sure. Fernando Rodney has 325 saves. He's a little bit further away. He's got to be able to crack top 10 too. Maybe, maybe not. Jose Val is he Jose Valverde still closing? Jose Valverde at 288. He's a little ways away. Kenley Jansen's got a way to go too. He's at seven two seventy two. Aroldis Chapman has two hundred and thirty eight saves. He's thirty one. Yeah. No, Rodney can't do it. Fernando Rodney's forty two years old. What about Joaquin Soria? He's 35 years old. He has 220 saves. He could crack top 10. I feel like Greg Holland and Mark Melanson, who are both at about... Holland has 191 saves, and Melanson has 182 saves. They're in their mid-30s. I mean, closers can, can, you know, can throw for a little while, longer than the rest. But I think they had a couple seasons that... Uh, that a couple of seasons that just yeah but yeah oh. uh, riddle me this Brian O says we only have three four boxes left folks this is one of our last trivias for the night um, riddle me this largest seven largest baseball parks by current name Dodger Stadium is huge. So is, so is Anaheim Stadium. That's got to be up there. There's Beltre. Oh, maybe they took out all that outfield space with the, the, with the rocks and everything. That might have changed the numbers there. Beltre for Andy and the I think Yeah, Andy and the Rangers. 
Toronto sounds pretty. Jason Jaspi saying Toronto. Yeah, Coors Field has to be huge. And like old, the older ballparks are always massive. Yeah, and that and that one's tiny. Safeco? I'm watching, we're watching Mariners right now. Safeco could be big. Oh, what is it now? Oh, it's like T-Mobile Arena, like T Arena, T-Mobile Stadium or something like that. Yeah. The big commercial is about it. See, I would say Oakland, but I feel like they they tarp they tarp the tops, right? So their capacity is like lower, is technically lower. Otherwise, I think the Coliseum itself capacity could be, I think, huge. It is T-Mobile, okay. Nice. But I don't know. Brian? Brian's not saying anything, so we, we must not be right on Oakland. There's Josh James for the Astros. We may see him tonight. He's a relief pitcher. Okay, Coors is third. <laughs> Oakland is seventh. Oh, there you go. The Nationals. What about the National Stadium? That's got to be pretty big. Yankee Stadium's got to be pretty big. Jeremy turned the wrong way. Oh, yeah, Turner Field's not there anymore. Um, uh, SunTrust, the new the new Braves ballpark, is that one of the top seven in capacity? I feel like Tropicana has been, is kind of big too. Oh, so AOB got, the, got Chase Field, Diamondback Stadium. No, no Dodgers yet. Joe Kelly busy, too busy giving up runs in the Dodgers game. Oh, that is gone. Wow, that's two grand slams in the game. Like I heard it off the like off the bat, and I turned my head, and it was just like it was out of here. Yeah, King D in there being like, "Let's go!" I know. Only pops up when Astros talk is happening. Yeah, what about Yankee Stadium? That's that. that yeah, new one's probably probably pretty big. Is that what they call it? Globe life? Ballpark at Arlington. That, that, that was always nice. And we've got Taylor Ward for the Angels. That's a good one. Target field. 
Wait, so is the new Ranger Stadium going to have like a – it's going to have a dome, right? Oh, they're building a new stadium. I think so. And their stadium from the outside looks cool. Like, looks but, but they're just – like old stadium is just too hot. Yeah, yeah Texas in the middle of the summer. Yeah, people would just be dying out there. They would just boil. It's got to be like the Arizona one, right? Like, right, and it would be like Arizona. Like a, you know, during cooler weather, they can, they can pop the dome off. During, when it's like blistering hot, they can just air condition that. It's gonna be retractable. They're building it out nice. They should. Same area, Andy. Oh, Andy Garner says hi. By the way. Kopech. White Sox. Barry Swisher. Miller Park. Brian, what about uh, what about the Giant Stadium? San Francisco baseball Giants. close. Andy says it is close, right by the Cowboys Stadium Six Flags. There you go. Yeah, I remember that. Are you serious? So we walked like to our friend's hotel next to Six Flags. It was like legit a five-mile walk. <laughs> we literally walked down far. That's brutal. We went to their hotel and we called it Little Tennis. I was like, jeez. They must, they must have all sorts of hotels around there though, right? Yeah, it's close by still. Like our hotel is a little farther next to the airport. Though. Oh, I got you. I got you. It's just like crazy. We don't have a lot of time. I don't know. We're just like, I guess so. Oh, we got them all. Yeah, we got one. We got, we got two boxes worth of time, Brian O. If you want to get it on the recording, if you want to put it on wax. Oh yeah, it's like an hour closer. I'm absolutely going. I might. I think about it, but I feel like those seat licenses are like a million dollars. I was like, I could probably afford to buy season tickets, but but not the licenses though. Yeah, that's where they get you. Oh, we should definitely go to that. Last time I seen them was in 2013. I was when they just come back eight years later. That's been coming up. I think 2021. Brian O saying that we got them all, you guys. All the all the the top seven largest stadiums. All right, final two boxes, ladies and gentlemen. Two hits here, two hits in there. Almost, almost done. All right, man. See you. You too. I gotta, I gotta land one right here to balance out that stack. Otherwise, it might be sad times. Otherwise, we might have some, some Jenga happening. We got Kevin Kramer. I almost said Crimea. No, that's a different player. This is Kevin Kramer for the Pirates. Michael Gallucci, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Sure, might as well. Brian's going to switch switch to NBA. We do have NBA playoffs coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah. We we have him reduced to that. I think once we expand our expand the store, we should be able to get him to do more than just the eBay stuff, Andy. Probably get some hockey back in the and in, in the new shop too. 43 out of 99, dual relic Adrian Beltre for Andy Garner and the Rangers. And we missed him too, Andy. That's why we got him back. 
Okay, there's been se seven players who score more than 70 points in the game. Name them. Kobe. Wilt Chamberlain. Did David Robinson really have a 70-point game? Devin Booker. Devin Booker had a 70-point game. Yeah, Rory saying Booker as well. Who are the other guys? Steph hasn't put up 70, I don't think. Durant hasn't put up 70. Yeah, that's got to be James Harden, right? That's a good one, Rory. Harden's got to be in there. Brian, is this a trick question? Did Will Chamberlain do it like another three times? Harden, no. Shaq? Shaquille O'Neal must have pounded out 70 points at one point. Early days, magic years. No on Harden, no on Durant. Last box. Good luck, everybody. It's close. There's Xander Bogarts. Two color, dual relic, and autograph. I think he got an extension recently, didn't he? Ted Howard with the Bow Sox. Yeah, what about Kareem? Rory said, Brian saying Lakers and Nuggets. So not Bill Russell. Kareem? Nice. It's a good throw. There's Larry Doby. No on Kareem. We already said Kobe. And you said no on Shaq. There's Taylor Ward. I don't know if Jerry West had a 70-pointer. There's Taylor Ward. Angels. That goes to Elvis Ekman. All right, Stage, I'll see you. For the Nuggets, Dan Sell, Alex English. Ooh, man, that that got close. That got close, ladies and gentlemen. I hope there's not another one. Oh, there isn't. I made it. And we made it, folks. We're at the end of the break. Thanks to Brian O for the triv. Some fun trivia there. Appreciate it. Let's do the front back randomizers for this. Also, what up, Rex? Game's not over yet. Game's not over yet.
All right. Ooh, David Thompson. Nice AOB. All right, let's roll the dice for front back. Four and a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Backsides. We'll get those cards, so it'll be this side right here. And thanks very much, everyone. That was a good one right here. Um, I think that was the last of our Diamond Kings, ladies and gentlemen, but we'll see if we can get some more. So keep an eye out on the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Well, maybe we'll do some more trivia, talk baseball, and do more of this. We'll see you next time, jazbeescasebreaks.com.